Hey everyone, Dan Addy here. Welcome to another edition of Detroit Speed's Tech Talk. Today, we're going to talk to you about our Detroit Speed Drop Multi-Lease Springs. Our lease spring applications include 1967 to 81 Camaro Firebird, 1968 to 74 Nova, as well as 1964 and a half to 1970 Mustang. Now if you use, choose to use our Detroit Speed lease spring mini tub kit on the 67 and 68 Camaro Firebird, you can fit up to a 315 tire size. On the 1969 to 81 Camaro Firebird, you can actually get a 335 tire under your vehicle. Now for 1964 and a half to 66 Mustang, you can fit up to a 315 tire and for a 1967 to 70 Mustang, you can fit up to a 335 tire size. So some of the features when shopping for a drop leaf spring include such things as an anti friction pad between each leaf. That'll help you with a smoother ride along with a tapered leaf design. Another thing is that our leaf springs are front biased. So under hard loading, the axle is actually gonna try and wrap itself around the leaf spring. So when this leaf spring is biased to the front, that'll help control that from happening. So for the Detroit leaf spring, for the Mustang application, we offer a one and a half inch drop. However, for the Camaro Firebird applications, we offer either a two inch or a three inch drop. So one of the biggest questions is, which one do I use for my vehicle? Now for the 67 to 69 Camaro Firebird, we recommend either a two inch or a three inch. It really depends on what you're doing with the front of the car. Say you're dropping the front two inches, you probably wanna do a three inch in the back to give you a level stance. If you're looking for more of a rake, we'd recommend the two inch drop leaf spring for your first generation Camaro Firebird. Now for the second generation, which is 1970 to 81 Camaro Firebird, we really kind of go with the two inch drop leaf spring as our most recommended option. And the reason is those cars are a little bit bigger. And if you have any kind of steering equipment or anything in the trunk, it's almost gonna be too low in the back with the three inch drop leaf spring. Now keeping in mind when you're picking your drop leaf spring that your old springs that are 40 and 50 years old have sagged over time. So our two inch drop leaf spring is gonna be two inches from a brand new spring. So if you go to put our two inch lease spring and replacing your old spring, it's probably only gonna drop it about an inch or so. So if you've purchased the Detroit Speed lease spring mini tub kit, you're actually gonna offset the rear lease spring inboard under the frame to gain an additional tire clearance. Now a lot of people don't realize, but from the factory, the lease springs are actually V'd at an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick the back end so they're more parallel. So in order to do that, you need to change your lease spring perch on the axle. And one thing we offer is a nice adjustable lease spring pad because all these springs aren't the same, so we can't just weld the spring pad onto the axle tube and hope the spring lands on it. So that's why we make them adjustable, so you can mock everything up, get everything lined up, loose, tighten it, and then you can tack weld the spring pad on your axle tube. Now to give you the best, most consistent leaf spring we can offer you, when the guys in packaging are actually putting these together that are only sold in pairs, they're actually gonna lay them on the floor and take the arced height from the floor to the top of the arc and match them up. That way they're the most consistent because we've all seen cars down the road that are sitting crooked, and that's usually because of inconsistencies in the lease spring. We go above and beyond to make sure you have the most even level vehicle when using our lease springs. Now all Detroit Speed lease springs come with a rubber bushing in the front. And the reason is that's your comfort bushing. That's gonna give you a nice smooth feel in the vehicle. Now the back, we leave open. We have either a urethane or a Delrin option bushing for the back. Now that's your handling bushing, so you want something a little more stiffer than rubber, to give you that nice handling feel going through the corners. So the urethane is kind of a step up from the rubber. And the Delrin is really more for your high performance handling kit, maybe if you're autocrossing or doing some events with it, we recommend the Delrin bushing for the back. One of the cool things about that, even if you're not mini tubbing it, it's actually, the way we've designed the bushing and the flanges, it's actually gonna offset the leaf spring a little bit inboard to give you that little bit extra tire clearance in the back. So included in either urethane or the Delrin bushings, of course, a nice zinc plated crush tube and with the Delrin bushings, you can see they are greasable. There's a nice crush tube as well as a Delrin sleeve that has grooves in it to help maintain that grease in the bushings. One thing with the Delrin bushing kit is as I mentioned, it does offset the leaf spring inboard just a little bit. The issue with that is it may cause a little bit of binding in your leaf spring pad. So to alleviate that problem, we offer that adjustable leaf spring pad that'll get you to readjust everything. That way it all tightens up without being in a bind and give you the best traction possible. 
If you're using our Detroit Speed Mini Tub Lease Spring Kit, you're going to have offset shackles included for the back of the lease spring. However, if you're not going to mini tub it and you're just using our lease spring kit with nice urethane bushings, we offer a heavy duty shackle kit to replace the old worn out ones in your vehicle. We offer you a variety of shock plates. Now this is going to be for your stock shock plate, right? So the shocks actually got a stud that bolts into this flange. Now with the 67 Camaro, the shocks were actually both in front of the axle. So you can use a left hand and a right hand shock plate. 68 to 81, that's when they staggered them. So because it's like a mirror image, you're actually going to use two right hand plates. So if you're using the mini tub kit, we have different shock plates because you're going to use a different shock. It's actually got a monoball shock with a through bolt. So we have this little stud welded on to the end of the flange. Now same deal with the 1967 Camaro Firebird. Since both shocks are in front of the axle, you're going to use a left and right hand plate and it's going to be in the vehicle like this. If you're using a 68 to an 81 Camaro Firebird, again, you'll have two right hand plates because the shocks are staggered. One option we've developed over the years is to include a tow hook. In case you want to put your car in a trailer and take it long distance to a show, we offer these nice tow hooks that go either with the stock shock plate or the main tub shock plate. Same deal here, we have a left hand and a right hand depending on what position your shocks are in. And they're simply gonna to bolt to the bottom side of the shock plate. Before we wrap up this video, I wanna discuss one more thing, so let's walk over to our display. In the decades here at Detroit Speed of testing first generation Camaros and 68 to 74 Novas, we've actually seen many cars rip out that leaf spring pocket. So one thing we've developed is a heavy duty leaf spring pocket. As you can see here, it's got a top plate that welds in to the top of the floor plan, and then a nice fabricated heavy duty leaf spring pocket that'll bolt into the vehicle. That way, the leaf spring can handle a lot more abuse and not get ripped out of the vehicle. Thank you for watching another episode of Detroit Speed's Tech Talk. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at 704-662-3272 or you can shoot us an email at sales at DetroitSpeed.com. You can also visit our website at DetroitSpeed.com or visit any of our social media outlets.